The Hungarian authorities are furious. They insist a train full of refugees and migrants arrived on their territory without warning and without agreement. The Hungarian disaster unit says there were about 40 armed Croatian police on board escorting them, an incident they say is a serious violation of international borders. For those on board, this is a progress of sorts. They don't know where they're going or which country will end up accepting them, but at least they're moving. But these are the people no one seems to want, and at the entrance to Slovenia, riot police use tear gas to keep them away. The huge migration has torn apart any semblance of cooperation between European states, with Hungary pressing ahead with building a second fence along a second border, this time blocking routes to and from Croatia. But the arrival of hundreds of migrants bust back over from Croatia, threw them into confusion and seriously strained relations between the two countries. We are dealing with it on our own and we said from the beginning that we could deal with thousands, but not with tens of thousands. What we see today is a complete failure of the Croatian state to handle uh, migration issues. Uh, what is more, uh, we see intentional, intentional participation in human smuggling, taking these migrants to the Hungarian border. Hundreds of those bus to the northern Hungarian borders simply carried on walking, refusing to stay in the camps and instead heading on towards Austria. By morning, more than a thousand were waiting on the Austrian border, another step closer to realizing their dreams of living in peace and prosperity.